There it goes around. Or is it going to land on? <laughs> What is up, guys? My name is Ark, and today is a beautiful day to brawl because we've got week four, the final week of the Race to Gem Mountain Challenge. If you've missed the previous three weeks, where have you been? <laughs> we've been we've been for a lot on the channel. I'll leave a link to the playlist up above, left or right, can't remember which. Um, but this is a battle between 10 of the best content creators in Brawl Stars. We are battling for prizes and the ultimate clout of reaching the top of Gem Mountain first. The creators involved are Lex, Kairos, Chief Pat, Coach Corey, Ray, Ben Tim, OJ, Ash, and Tom. Things are getting real, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm in first. <laughs> we had the most insane week last week. Go and check that video out in particular. Quite a good one. Uh, but this week is gonna work a little bit differently to previous weeks. So we start off this week by spinning the race to the finish wheel. This is a wheel of luck, a wheel of fortune with 10 available squares times three yellow times two red and so on and so forth. You spin the wheel and whatever you land on, you have to move to at the start of this week. So if, for example, it's times two green, you move to the second available green square. You don't stop along the way. You go straight there. And that is where we start our journey at the beginning of week four. But if you're really, really new to the channel, you may not know what the Race to Gem Mountain Challenge is at all. So let's head over to Parstock. He'll explain all the rules. In this box, there are four packs of cards. In each pack, there are five individual challenge cards. I will have to shuffle them all up. I will have no idea what challenge awaits me. And I will have to pick three out of those five cards to do as challenges for you guys. I will then have to attempt that challenge using many of the props that might be required of me within this box. I've got to win the challenge. If I don't, I don't proceed on the board game. So there's a lot at stake. If I am successful in my challenge, I will then peel off the back of the card to reveal a color and that is the next spot that i will move to on the board game once the challenge has been attempted whether i win it or lose it that card is tossed aside away from the pack never to be seen again big sad um and then move on to the next challenge once i have done three challenges out of the five possible cards my week is over and you guys get to see and compare to how i've performed with the other creators who are gonna lose just saying okay let's do it we don't need to shuffle for the pack it's the last one left in the box and we're gonna find out right now what our first challenge is gonna be that's all the cards out there right car wash again for the final week of the race to gem mountain challenge i don't want to lose any cards here i think that's still all accounted for can't really tell eyes are completely closed <laughs> okay right let's pick our first card it's gonna be the sandwich stacker challenge looks like you've worked up an appetite to make a sandwich using three different ingredients during the match be the winning team make a sandwich and take a bite okay i think this is relatively doable i've seen other creators do this challenge we gotta come first it's gem grab and I have no idea what the map is for today. So that's going to be uh, one that we're going to find out pretty soon. Three different ingredients. I reckon we can do this. We're going to get a plate, uh, some bread, some toppings. And uh, yeah, now this first challenge. But before we do that, we need to spin the race to the finish wheel. I forgot about that. <laughs> I actually did it earlier with Tom. So let's head over to the past, do that, and then come straight back to the present. Tom, welcome back to the channel. I've stopped you during your tasks. How are you getting on? Uh, I'm doing okay. Had to put some nails on and yeah looked a looked a bit cool <laughs> it's like legit the hardest part of that challenge is actually putting them on in the first place right so yeah <laughs> you did well it did well <laughs> i hate to be the one to break it to you tom but uh i've worked out the math i've got a 40 percent chance of winning off a spin how's it make you feel good luck good luck i guess i don't think i don't believe you <laughs> what's the fighting talk tom you know, i don't think you're gonna get it but well without further ado let's do the spin Ooh. <laughs> here it goes around or is it going to land on... <laughs> oh, no! oh my goodness me. That was literally millimeters, I should say, away from being a dub. Where does that place us then on the board? Times two yellow is a 55. I think that's pretty good. I mean, that is, uh, I think, like the, the fourth worst, I think. But I'm down with that. I'm, I'm down with that. Top. 
Thank you very much. Good luck with your challenges. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> right, we've got our bread, uh, homemade, thinly sliced, very nice indeed. We've got our chocolate spread and our butter. Now, I checked the rules, and it does say two spreadable toppings. But just in case butter doesn't count, we've got uh, some Caesar salad dressing. Really not looking forward to adding that with chocolate spread and our cheese. But hey, a challenge is a challenge, right? And we're going to get this dub. So without further ado, let's get into this first game. And fingers crossed we can make it happen. All right, we're going in. I am going to spread as soon as... Okay, so Primo, Pam, and Piper. Let's wait till that. Okay, let's spread this all in and see if we get teleported on by someone on the other team. Nothing so far. Right, that's good for the batter. Oh, no. Right, let's do... Let's help out this uh, this bow here. Primo's gonna get stuck in here nicely. Let's do that and just clear up this lane here. Nicely done. Right, let's push the mid. We gotta get some gems for our team. And we gotta start doing a little bit. Oh, and this Piper's gonna be a real nuisance to deal with. Right, does anyone teleport in? Our teammate is. I know that much. Right, the Pam is going down there. That's good. Primo's going in here. Let's try and get some damage. We're gonna be a little bit cautious, yeah, because of that. Um, let's do that and throw that on our teammate. Right, this is looking pretty good. Let's get the, the chocolate spread on. Oh, no. We've got to win as well, guys. We've got to win as well. That's the aim of the game. Right. This is looking good. The Pam is going to go here. And this should be good for Kerbal. Nicely done. Right. Okay, good, good, good. I want to be careful of the Piper here. Oh, pretty much lurking here. That's good to know. Right. That's a good pinch between me and the Tick. Nicely done, Tick, buddy. Nicely done. Right. Let's do this. She's going on now as well. Yikes, Ark, yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm spamming. She's all over my hands right now. There's uh, two in the bag. Where's the Primo going with here? Towards the teleporter, it looks like here. Tick doing work. Tick doing work. Okay, got one gem, but not the end of the world. Let's see what happens here with the Pam. Go oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, come back, Bo. Come back. Come back. Nicely done, Bo. The, uh, the Piper. We've got to take a bite of the sandwich no matter what. Let's throw us up here and see if we can put some pressure on. Right, let's come back with this gem. And let's take a bite of this. Oh, the Caesar salad. Quick. Caesar salad. And just spread that in. Nice done. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, it's falling over. Ah, the sandwich. It's getting eaten. Ah, mmm. It's a good bite. It's a good bite. Ah, ah. We're going. We're going in. We're going in on the bottom. She jumped. She jumped. She's <laughs> dancing. All right. She goes down. We should be good. Count down. She's bound. And we did the sandwich. We did the toppings. I think this is up. I think this is up. Yes, get in. <laughs> get in. Star player as well. That is how we roll. She's a savage. is not good. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, no. That is quite disgraceful. <laughs> Wave my hands as well. Right. We're going to get cleaned up. And then we'll come back and we'll find out where we're going to move to on the board. <laughs> the mess, by the way, in my studio <laughs> right now. The box was ruined. I had to wipe that down. I got cheese sticking to my socks. I can feel it beneath me. And Caesar salad and chocolate spread. Just, just don't do it, guys. Just, just don't. Okay, I've checked the board. There is a 60% chance that this card is good and a 40% chance that I will be opening up the next card. There is the options of yellow, which will put me on the finish square. There is the options of red and the options of purple. Those three will land me on the finish square, but a blue and a green is bad. We don't want a blue and we don't want a green. That is how this is gonna go. <laughs> the sandwich stacker challenge done. Moment of truth, right? I don't wanna look. <laughs> the team to find out how everyone else is getting on because i literally have no idea right now what that means but in one challenge we are there in one challenge we have made it there so that is not a bad start that is not a bad start right let's find out how we're getting on all right i just chatted to the team and as it currently stands i am the fastest person to reach the top of gem mountain which is legit absolutely insane now Someone can still tie or beat me, but they've got to get to the finish square in the same or less number of moves. So at the moment, 
I am in the lead. I am winning or have won. I've got to wait to see to find out. But right now, I'm feeling pretty good about today. <laughs> so the last cards I had were... I had the Incubator Challenge. I already did that on the week three. So I guess that would have been a toss aside, which left the Finger Fusion Challenge, which would have been using the finger traps. They were finger traps. I was always wondering that. I don't think anyone got that. You haven't seen nothing yet. Connect both hands using four finger traps and wear them for an entire match. The Heartbreak Challenge, that, I didn't want that last week. That was about wearing the heart rate monitor. And I remember Ben, Tim and OJ doing that and it looked horrific. And the Stone Cold Challenge, which was the keep your feet submerged in a nice foot bath. Oh my days. Right, well, um, I guess, guys, if that's not a reason to use Kodak, <laughs> I don't know what is. <laughs> guys, have you enjoyed watching the series? There'll be a playlist at the end of this video, so make sure you go and check it out if you missed any of the previous weeks. This has been really fun. I've got to give a huge, huge shout out to Supercell for putting this all on because honestly, this has been by far one of the most enjoyable experiences as a content creator I think that we've ever done as a challenge project. So the amount of planning that's gone into this has been absolutely insane and a lot of people working super, super hard in the background to make sure that this happened for everyone. So they know who they are. A huge shout out to all those guys. Uh, what else is there left to say? Um, <laughs> sorry for sorry for knocking out your favorite creators. Um, <laughs> who were watching? Like, who's Ark? Ark who? What? <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the series, and I'll catch you in the next one.